Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to analyze the Synodyme. It's a company that uh, together with the subsidiaries operates as distributor and aggregator of independent movie, television and other short form content in the United States, Canada and New Zealand. The former measure not considers investment advice. The market cap of the company is 268 million. The revenue of forecasted to grow almost 30% per year and there's a lot of risks shareholders have been subsequently dilated currently unprofitable and forecasted to become profitable over the next three years Volta share price and significant insider selling yeah the price went pretty much up since the latest expansions product updates and uh, some of the board changes anyway market performance one year 440 percent hugely beating industry beating market long-term price volatility considers highest and value side here's the interest interesting thing simple wall street shows that <laughs> fair valuation should be around two cent and it's currently overvaluated uh over seven thousand percent but there's tip rank that shows uh, price target standing at three point 25 and so it has currently like 100 percent upside and also the market watch as well as have the average of the 3.25 stock price target in high scenarios in good scenarios 3.5 so not quite sure where is the where's the data from the simple wall street picking is it like only fundamentals or is it somewhere else that they are missing the information some of the information anyway future growth 35 percent forecasted and earnings per share is forecasted as well to grow but it's not forecasted to become profitable over the next three years uh, past performance decreased by four percent and the financial health side we see that yeah equity was pretty much a few years ago on the negative side which is like not so good and currently the debt to equity ratio is 231 percent and yeah it's considered as very high and do they have cash yes they do 25 million balance sheets looks like Pretty much there's a debt, but anyway, they are not paying dividends and insider volumes. Yes, yeah, so there's only sellers. Okay, there's the company and the individual that have been selling ownership breakdown. General public holding 73%, individuals, insiders, 12 public companies, 5 private companies five almost five institutions 4.2 and top shareholders uh, so the yeah there's a I think the buy some finance group brought this uh, this from the in individual so there is a change minus 54 percent and plus 58 percent or or this but anyway there's a there's a Vanguard and BlackRock. BlackRock actually added, and Renaissance Technologies added as well. Square Points added. Yeah, one of the top one and top three shareholders sold the, the not all the stocks, but 54 to 57 percent. Anyway, as we can see on the Finvis, so yeah, there's a volumes that is currently going up. And yeah, I think yesterday it was current somewhere around 150 million in the volume. And yeah, as we can see, it might be the same scenario as last June, where the stock prop bumps to the $6 per share but anyway it's on a pre-market currently uh, over 
29%. So currently the price is 162, pre-market 209, 30% up. Anyway, it's pretty risky story because last lately the the same around the same picture was uh, in mid February where the price went pretty much in the same. It could do the the same curve as here. So I'm not sure if there's possibilities to do upside to the six dollars per share. But anyway, simple say dividend shows that shares are signing increasing and uh, total sales decreasing so this is kind of not a long-term investor story because of the fundamentals of this company where the sales are decreasing and shares are increasing anyway the investing.com some of this talk for long-term investors as a strong buy thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in the future one